Welcome to PowerShell Bytes, Episode 3, Get Help vs. Help. What's the difference? Uh, this is something that I was very curious early on, trying to figure out, you know, what's the difference between Get Help or Help or Man? There's all these different, uh, a lot of times referred to as commandlets or PowerShell commands, and they all seem to, well, do about the same thing. Uh, they all let you, you know, search for different commandlets, and they all, well, help you find help documentation. So if I want to say git command, I can use the help command to pull up the help documentation. I can do the same thing with the git help. Now at first glance you might think, well, git help and help, they might be aliases. You know, one one's an alias of another. But if I use git alias and type in help, I can quickly find out while well, there is no alias with the name help. If I do git alias and use the definition parameter and type in git help, this should basically tell me any aliases that exist for the command like git help. By searching that, I can quickly find out whether well, there's none there either. So if you're curious like me, you start to wonder, well, why is that? And you start Googling around, a lot of times people will say, well, it is a wrapper function of git help. And if you're like me, you're like, well, what does that mean? I want to see what's going on. I'll save you the time if you don't want to watch further in this video to actually tell you what's going on. It is this. Git help base or when you type in say for instance help git command. What's actually going on behind the scenes is it's that command is taking whatever you put in there and type in this git help git command and piping it to more. If you're like me Someone can tell you something, but you want to see it for yourself. And by figuring this out, you can actually use this technique to discover a bunch of other PowerShell, um, say, commands and understanding how that they how they work behind the scenes. So to start, I'll actually use the commandlet git command to find out some more information. I'll use the wild card in front of help to pull up any commandlet, or actually better the better way to say it is a PowerShell command that ha contains the name help. And the reason I'm saying it is, well, you'll notice help says it's a function and gets help says it's a command. Uh, a lot of people, myself included, well, pretty much just always call these commandlets, even though there's actually a difference. The difference is in the language that they're written in. A commandlet is written in C-sharp, which is a compiled language, meaning that, uh, program, that source code is compiled into, I'm guessing, some DLL file. And that is where the git help commandlet lives. A function on the other hand is pure PowerShell. That is written in the PowerShell language and since it's written in PowerShell language I have access to the source code because well it's not a compiled. It's not compiled like C sharp. So one thing if you're not familiar with is PowerShell has several different PowerShell drives and one of them is the function drive which well all PowerShell functions uh, that are loaded into your session exist there. So first I'll show you git ps drive if you're not familiar with this. These are the different PowerShell drives that basically mounts the C drive, the D drive, the function drive, which we'll take a look at in a second, and the registry. It's basically a PowerShell drive pretty much more or less lets you access all these different things all as if they are a file system. So I can, for instance, use cd to change directory into the function drive. I can use I can type right cd there we go and I can use the dir command to discover you know what's all inside that function drive and well I'll see well indeed there's help I can use git content or an alias such as type or cat to get the content of a file well the help excuse me the help function is pretty much treated like a file here. So I can get the contents of that by typing in git content help. And I'm going to actually pipe this to the clipboard so it can be a little bit more readable. I'll open another tab here and paste that in. Now if I scroll up to the very top, you'll see indeed this is a PowerShell function. And here are the parameters. Well, there's name detail, full, everything that you will see in the help command and also the git help command, the exact same parameters. 
I'm going, to un I'm going to go ahead and collapse that to show you what's really going on. This is the meat of the function. The first part is something to do about encoding, which I don't really care about, but you can read the comment that Microsoft put in there, something about uh, more.com doesn't work well with Unicode. But really what's going on here is right here. And as I told you earlier, this is a wrapper function around the get help commandlet. So basically whatever you type in help is then passed on to the get help commandlet and piped to more, as you saw earlier. It, um, it, uh, when you type in help, whatever your help documentation that you pull up, it'll actually page, you know, page by page as you hit spacebar. And that's because of this piping to more. If you're not familiar with this, this is a couple things going on here. The PS bound parameters is what's called an automatic variable. And basically whenever someone types in help and whatever parameters they may use, well, that's all, all that information is saved in this PS bound parameters, and then it is using splatting to basically splat that onto the get help commandlet to pass all that information on. So that this is actually a pretty cool technique, and you can use this to, well, let me put that back up. You can use this technique to find out and explore PowerShell functions such as you know git verb or git file hash. And because those are functions, you can explore and see the source code and kind of, you know, explore around, and it's a great way to learn. Now, like anything in PowerShell, there's about, you know, 10 ways to skin a cat, and there are actually other ways to find out the exact same information, but in essence of keeping these videos short, I'm just going to stick with this, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.